Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2023 Portland Open presented by Latitude 64. I'm Rebecca Cox. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. And you're listening to Coxcomb Commentary. Yeah, you are. And we're here on the final round, back nine, and we've seen some golf today. We have seen some golf. What a <laughs> statement. We're going to see some more. Yeah. The uh, wind is up a little bit. Yep. And... It's a battle out there. Real quick, I want to show off this disc doctor helps fix nicks in your disc. I don't think that's the tagline, but it does. Uh, check that out. It's new to the shop at Jomez Pro. New partnership with the disc doctor. Uh, back to like what's actually happening. Kristen Tatar, a little off. Uh, two down through nine, you know, wouldn't seem bad, but she's missed some putts. Uh, she still has a five-stroke lead on both Sayananda and Juliana Korber. Uh, Missy dropping back just a touch, um, kind of just a slow par round for Missy so far. Hole 10 is a par four, 605 feet. Um, there is a mandatory tree. We're actually teeing off from the left-hand side and just kind of powering something straight down there. The drone is taking the safest path to the basket um, where you kind of want to go out and around this green to the right-hand side. If you end up left on the tee, you can kind of keep playing left, but it really brings that out of bounds green and the hazard bunkers very much into play. It takes a ton of distance to, well, man, not a ton of distance. It takes just perfect accuracy to land this one close enough to feel confident in the putting because it's perched up on a hill just fraught with rollaways. Yeah, even with how far up Kristen is here, it's still a little bit left of the fairway that you really want to be in. Uh, yeah, it's all about position, not the tee here. But she could go like forehand over the green potentially, or backhand. Yeah, she has the power to finagle something from there. This is beautiful from Sai. She really knows how to shape those high turnover shots. That's a ballista pro, and that's the side of the fairway that typically you want to land on. Yeah, definitely the, mo the more open side. Missy, maybe a little too much turn on the thrasher, but plenty of distance. Uh, she might be a little pinched off by that big tree there. It's crazy that this one's only 6.05. It feels longer. For sure. Similar line to Missy, similar landing zone too from Juliana. Oh man. Yeah, that is awkward. And just playing for par, most likely. She has a decent angle here. Hard to get enough power in a stance like that, though. Yeah, she's putting herself out there and just going to try and save the par from there. Yeah, it should be a pretty routine layup. Missy with a little bit better look at it. Yeah, she had great distance. I mean, she's like nearly pin high on the right. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Not sure how close her hand was to the tree there, but I know that always, that always makes swing. me so nervous. <laughs> and Missy with a good amount of power, but turns it over too much to the right out of position for birdie. And I believe Kristen did the same play yesterday with the forehand on the second shot. What a dangerous line to take. Yeah, I mean... She's confident, though. Yeah. Dang. There's the wow, danger. That must have the green. And I wonder if she'll have to take it from the short side. Oh, yeah. I doubt she touched if mm -hmm. she had gone OB. Yeah, I couldn't tell. But Sai taking the more conventional route. Nice. Hi, Heiser. Catches a tree, though. Oh, and she's in. Likely inside the circle putting for birdie. Juliana trying to get it really close to the basket here. Yeah, if you can land on that hillside and stick just like that, mm -hmm. you're in business. Yeah, you really want to not even really put it up in the air that high. You just mm -hmm. want to kind of throw it into that hill and let it slide up to the basket. With no angle. It needs yeah. to land flat. Kristen taking it from the short side. Going to be her first bogey of the round. It's even kind of a funky lie, but she's able to get up to the circle. Side so to get two strokes on Kristen. There is a bit of a breeze here, too. Dang. It's a bit short, but she'll still gain at least one stroke. Mm. 
Missy with a nice scramble. Yeah, her ninth par in a row here. Yeah, too many pars in a row doesn't feel great out here. Yeah, but a par on this hole does feel good. That's true, yeah. Hole 10, hole 10 did play as the most difficult hole of the day today. Really? Yes. Interesting. Yeah, one over collectively on the card there. Yeah, both Juliana and Sai gaining a stroke on Kristen on that hole. As well as Missy. Hold 11, par 5, 1,070 feet. You can really, really bite off a lot of distance on this hole because it's so far downhill. Uh, the footing can get a little tricky off the drive just because sometimes you can land at the base of one of these big fat trees and we've seen how difficult it is just to reach around it. Um, but if you're able to get an open look, these women are looking to get a birdie or maybe even better. It's so fun to see all the different routes you can take on this hole. Oh, yeah. A lot of the other ones have tighter mandatories and really specific shot shapes. But this one, you can kind of do whatever you want. Yeah, player's choice, pretty much. No really wrong way to do it. Sai getting through that tree line really nicely. Seen heading straight for the right side of the gap. Pretty. Yeah. As long as you get about three quarters of the way through that little grove of trees, you're uh, definitely looking kind of at the back. You can almost see the basket from up there, and you're in good position. Juliana also taking the right side, but leaving it high enough that it kind of crashes into those trees. Seems like the women are avoiding the the base of the trees this round. Yeah, did find some trouble yesterday, you're right. I like the shape from Kristen. Yeah, getting plenty of distance. She's way up there. Yeah, not messing with those trees at all. You see going left-hand side, trying to turn yeah. something over. That looks solid. Good angle. Yeah, good shape there. Taking the just biggest gap right in front of her. The wind's picking up. Yeah. Getting a little swirly out there. Is Juliana lining up the same gap? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably too much turn Probably on that too one. Much. Yeah, the wind down there is just oh. there's a lot. Spicy little A little bit of a thrower. thrower but... It's honestly a good result. Mm -hmm. I mean, any forward progress down this hill is going to be fine. Yeah, it almost doesn't matter where you land as long as you're inbounds. Oh, she's in prime real estate oh, over here. Yeah. Kind of turns it over a bit, not really leaving it high enough to let it air out, but she's still pretty far down there. Yeah, she's probably nearly pin high, um, perhaps a bit obstructed. Sai, wow, what a drive. What a pretty shot shape, too. She gets all the way to the next set of trees. Now she'll be pretty close for her upshot here. Mm -hmm. Missy's third shot seems like such a perfect thrasher hole, or thrasher shot. Yeah, well done. Is it just inside the circle? Yeah, she'll be looking to get first birdie in a little while. Turning it just a little bit. That's contending with the OB line. Ooh. Okay. Well, she stays clean. Circle two, maybe? A little obstructed. That's looking good. Juliana. Oh, yeah. Puts it to about 24 feet. I pinched on this tree, throwing yet another kind of pinched patent pending stance. Mm -hmm. 
And laces yeah. it. Sweet shot. That's a great example of just size skill set. She, if she had a sidearm, she would have thrown a sidearm from mm-hmm. there. But because she doesn't, she's really good at the patent pendings. She's really good at the turnover shots. Mm-hmm. Just making it work, essentially, with the backhand, no matter what. Mm-hmm. Missy, just inside for the birdie. Oh, so much commitment. She really wanted that. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. She made that great putt on hole one. It hasn't quite connected on the long one since. Kind of the second missed putt from Juliana that we've seen at that shorter range. Oh, Missy, no. no. Side picking up another one on Kristen. Kristen with the par. Once again, back to four strokes. Hasn't been any closer than that since round one, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it seems like it. Own eight down through 15. She's on a tear. That's fire. Hole 12 is an uphill par three, 270 feet. We actually didn't see any of our lead card ladies birdie it yesterday. There is a mandatory, but it's not really in play. You're just trying to throw straight at it. Um, straight fairway driver, or we've seen some mid ranges, though the height is tough with the mid range because it's kind of another one of those uphill but low ish ceiling. Yeah, this is one of those birdies that's right there on a big want platter, it. and you just want it so bad. So bad. Maybe too bad. Size pin high to the right. She'll have to circle this edge putt for her birdie. That was an orbit felon from Sai. Yeah, and it's no surprise that we're seeing these women throw these high-speed drivers. Not even high speed, but just drivers in general. It's kind of one of those ones, it plays farther because it's uphill and you just want to throw what's comfortable. Yeah, why work harder when you can just push something? And also with the low ceiling that comes mm-hmm. into play as well. This is great. Nah, it's still good. It yeah, is still, still good. has a look for putt. It's the correct speed, just a little right. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Nice. Missy skips around that final tree, gets inside the circle. Uh, A lot more commitment from Juliana on that putt there. It seemed a little smoother and more comfortable. Kristen unable to connect on her 42 footer. Yeah, kind of airing it out again. Mm. Sai looking to pick up another stroke, but can it connect right there? And Missy for her birdie. There it is. There we go. Yeah, surprisingly difficult hold a birdie. Yeah, I know. It's it's mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you feel so powerful on 11 being able to throw down that yeah, big hill and then... Like, oh, I can birdie this 1,000-footer, <laughs> yeah. but I can't birdie this 270-footer. <laughs> Like outside the circle. Mind games for sure. Mm -hmm. Still a four stroke game. Hole 13, 280 feet, par 3. This one's a little easier to reach because it's not quite as far uphill, but still a blind basket. Um, 
women are probably going to be throwing some sort of fairway or mid-range to the right side of the basket or maybe perhaps a turnover to the basket. It's really about getting through those trees. You can also do the higher speed play out to the right and just let it hyzer skip in. I think that's what we saw most of yesterday. Yeah, I'm missing a little wide, but she'll have a look at the basket. Mm -hmm. Another felon here from Sai. She's taking that hyzer route. I really like this. Oh, me too. Oh, it's amazing. That's why. Perfect. <laughs> oh, like almost did a full circle around yeah, the basket. Yeah, did a victory lap around. Oh, let's see it. Pole. Oh, this is going to look so cool. Amazing. <laughs> That's very satisfying. <laughs> it really is. Juliana with that halo octopus turn. The tailwind as well for these ladies. It's really wide. Yeah, not quite enough stability, it seems like, to skip all the way back in. Big arm going deep. Kristen also going pretty wide. Yeah, this one's a grand glory, though. It has, similar to size felon, it, it has that stability to kind of cut in earlier and skip a little bit more than the thrasher or the turn. Juliana not quite looking as confident as she did early, earlier in the round on the putting green. Come on, Missy. Dang, I liked it. This is to not lose another stroke to Psy. Whew. Okay. Oh, and that, that'll bring it down to three strokes. Yeah. Yeah, three strokes is not as comfortable. It is not comfortable. Four, you're like, okay, but yeah. three. Whew. That's not very many. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit off on the putting green you've seen Kristen today. <laughs> the crowd was just waiting for her to tap that in. Super hype crowds. We love to see it. I think they're all just really happy that it wasn't raining. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so beautiful all weekend. Own nine down through 17. Jeez, own. Own Scoggins. <laughs> Hole 14. It's par 4, 610 feet. You see a lot of ladies go the same route the drone flew, flew with a sidearm or usually like a flip up turnover that drifts out to the right. Uh, as long as you get far enough on the drive, the second shot's usually pretty easy. It's kind of a stock, you know, right hand, backhand hyzer out to the right that then fades in. The tee shot is tough though. Like it's not an easy one. Um, this I think is the best line to get distance and Sai threw this so far yesterday, this same shot, that's so good. Yeah, this hole plays very natural to size game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good point. She's like, I throw turnovers for a living. That mando isn't even in my head. Yeah. Missy taking the same line here. Not getting the turn, though. Kind of surprised with usually her disc selection, I feel like. Mm -hmm. That naturally would have turned a little more. But there is, with the tailwind on the previous hole, that does make the wind on this hole a little That's bit true. left to right. Juliana taking the outside route, getting a ton of turn she on did this a, turn. She did a wonderful job keeping it high enough so it didn't cut too early yeah. to the ground. Put enough air under it so that it can have a full flight. And Kristen going to show us the forehand. I can't remember if she went inside or outside yesterday. I believe she went inside. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Again, keeping kind it a little low. low. Straight. Really, that's so short. It would yeah, be impressive if she can get a putt from way back there. I mean, size like 200 feet in front of her at least. Missy kind of doing as best she can from all the way back there. She manages to get it in circle two for a look. Yeah, with the tailwind upshot here, you're thinking about the OB line that comes into the circle left of the basket. Mm -hmm. Kristen's doing a great job to keep it right enough so that it skips into the basket. Wow, great shot. I guess I don't yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it looked easy. <laughs> I think it just maybe highlights how impressive size shot is. 
Yeah, we haven't gotten to it yet. I really didn't think Kristen's was like far enough, but wow. Juliana uh, putting herself in the circle. Yeah, it was a star roadrunner. Really great execution. And Sai, I mean, that looks like a putter. She looks so she's close. Yeah, I mean, she's 120 feet away. Not a great upshot, though. Juiced, though. And that's what we've seen the entire tournament. Is she's yeah. just so strong. The mistake she here to make it. was to be short. Yeah, but. Oh man. Dang, what a sudden turn of events now with Kristen putting for birdie inside, trying to save par. Yeah, she'll have about an 18-footer <laughs> for, for her par. Juliana with the good putt for birdie. Yeah, a little fist bump. It's got to feel good after missing the last few. There we go. <laughs> Kristen squeaking it in for birdie. Sai coming back for par, makes good on it. Yeah, a little bit of a mistake on the upshot, but at least it's not a bogey. Yeah, but I mean now... Still losing that stroke that she had just got. Right, and there's only four holes left and four strokes separating. Four holes, four strokes. Juliana behind Sai just by one stroke. One Scoggins. Kill ridiculous. It. Absolutely ridiculous. Hole 15, 335, par 3. This, the way the drone is going straight down the middle is a gap, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that the women will be trying to hit that middle gap there. There's a right side kind of turnover with something a little overstable to let it come back into the basket. Uh, there is a left side gap, but that's more it's for the risky. forehand. Juliana was the only one to kind of lace this shot yesterday. We saw Kristen... Uh, find some trouble. Yeah, getting too far left up there, the OB comes in quite easily. And that was a good shot from Juliana. It's just hard to get through clean on this one. A lot of fairway trees. I believe Kristen went sidearm yesterday. She switches to the backhand. And it's yeah, safe. She's in bounds, but kind of takes the birdie out of play unless she can come up with something big. Sai so looking to get another one on Kristen here. I love how intentional she hits that right side gap. Yeah. So much confidence. Fantastic. I mean, you know she trusts that disc. And she's long. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the story of her tournament. Oh, size long again. <laughs> <laughs> Missy going. Ooh. Dang, I liked it. Kind of right side, but catches one of the late guardian trees. Ooh. I love shots like this. I think they're fun. They kind of give you something to focus on. You're like, oh, okay, got to hit this tunnel. <laughs> Juliana is just so great at the straight shots. Yeah. Yeah, she gets so much spin on the disc. That's that ultimate yeah. frisbee that stuff free that she style. does. Yeah, Kristen just laying up here. Not trying to get fancy or anything. Doors a crack open for Sai. Missy, a couple steps inside circle two. Leaves it low. Big moment here for Sai. Just outside the circle. Oh. oh. And the hopes are alive. Yeah. It's possible. Getting that stroke back. You know, if she pars that, now she needs four strokes and three holes. It's kind of a different story. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I honestly thought Kristen was going to run away with it, but three strokes is nothing. Yeah, she's made it really close so far. Three strokes. Owens Coggins in the clubhouse, 10 down. 10 down with a bogey. You're my hero. Hole 16 is a par 3, 330 feet. Another pretty straight shot. Generally, you're going to see that same line as the last hole where you kind of drift out to the right and then come back into the left. You can also start something out uh, to the left that just continuously drifts slightly right to get there. Um, probably a little 
much for the forehand. I'm trying to remember if Kristen threw forehand yesterday. It's definitely possible, but you definitely see way more backhands. Side going that right side play. And circle too deep. <laughs> yeah, a little long, but I think she'll have an open look at the basket from there. Opportunity, though, for Kristen to uh, close that crack in the door. But yeah. <laughs> just slam it a little bit. Julia. That's a nice line. Just fade. Oh. Great shot. Very nice. She did go forehand yesterday, too. Yeah. She turns that over a little too much. Good power. It's trying, but she's going to be in a similar spot to Sai, completely on the up opposite side, and maybe a tree in the way. Kind of like her drive on 14 was just low. Missy trying to do, I think, that second option I was saying where you turn, you just kind of turn and drift over to the right, but never quite get it, yeah, quite gets it to flip up. I'm doing great. <laughs> it's a super long look. I gotta be 70 feet easily. Kristen keeps it close for the par. Missy gives hers a run. She's going to end up short. Sai really needs this. Otherwise, she's going to have to count on Kristen making a mistake to catch her. Oh, and that was effort. super close. Great effort. Now, though, unless Sai eagles or Kristen continues, uh, continues to make some unforced errors, it's going to be nearly impossible to catch her. Yeah, wind's picking up. One of the hardest holes on the course is coming up. Yeah, it's certainly, certainly in the realm of possibilities, but... Yeah, I don't think anything is guaranteed, but... You know disc golf. Mm-hmm. We got four pars on this hole from our lead card. Own 10 down. I still can't get over that. Hole 17, we have a couple of close trees to the tee pad that we need to throw through, or you can even take a different gap if you'd like. This right here is about the normal landing zone. Sometimes some big arms can push a little straighter to the right um, for their open look for the upshot. The basket sits within these trees and it can be a little tricky having the open upshot line from your lie. It all kind of just depends on where you land, honestly. Right. Pick the biggest gap after your drive. Mm -hmm. Kind of a theme of both of these courses out here at Glendivere. This looks fantastic. Yeah, I decided pushing into that tree line. I mean, as long as you're not right behind a tree, yeah. you're likely to have a pretty open upshot. Yeah, she's in business. I have seen the right side of those trees taken. I've really? seen the left side. Yeah. I've only seen the center cut play. Huh. I mean, it's not like it's a very far par four, so you don't need a ton of distance right. off the tee. It's just nice. Juliana with a really solid shot with a star roadrunner. Great control of such a flippy fairway driver. Kristen puts this one up in the air. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's great. That's all you need. Very similar. Probably more than you need, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty similar position to Sai. Let see. Putting one out there. Might land a little more left. She'll have, hopefully, a wide open gap over there. Yeah, I, I think... <laughs> I guess it just depends. I think this side's a little harder, but it looks I like she has so a big too. hyzer gap. Um, but it's, yeah, she has to put quite a lot of angle on this one. Yeah. Oh, she does. Ooh, fantastic. Yeah, a little scary to put something up high like that with all those branches, but <laughs> it makes it up there. Oh, the old Missy smile. <laughs> makes you feel like nothing's wrong with the world. Juliana with a similar line. 
Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Squeaks in between those last two trees and bullseye hit. All right, Sai. Looks like she's a warden in hand. Wants to land this one nice and close. It's a little left behind those trees. Oh, Should probably be circle's edge, maybe 28 feet. Oh, man. Kristen almost never messes up these little harp forehand upshots. She's See so how good the wind with held that like that? Yeah, you can hear it. Oh, man. Oh. Not a great look for Sai. A little surprised she's not taking the right side, but this must be what's more comfortable. She does like those Anheuser yeah. putts. Yeah, I think the Anheuser putts are easier than the Heiser. Just yeah. depends on, especially with the wind pushing like that. That's true. There we nice, go. Nice, Missy. She's been trying to hunt down those birdies all round. Yeah, find a few on the back. Kristen extends her lead back to four. One hole to go. Juliana with a really great birdie. Three birdies in the par leading into the final hole. Your side showing Kristen where they stand. Or a funny meme. Or yeah. yeah Either way. You don't know. It's true. <laughs> you gotta call me out like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, holy teen, what a doozy. You are usually taking this right side gap if the drone is flying. It's only about 270 to clear the water. Uh, there is this OB uh, line on the left that kind of bumps out in the landing zone if you want to hyzer out. Second shot is deadly. There's a mandatory on the right. This OB line is very, very tight. It's difficult to land on the fairway if you don't get to where it widens uh, towards the green. Um, you can see how it kind of bubbles out on the left towards the end, elevated pin. Look at this gallery. What a Ooh. what a great day for disc golf. It's so cool to see how far we've come and how many people can come watch all these ladies shred. Oh yeah. Great shot from Juliana. It's perfect. It's all you need. I know there was a right to left wind on this hole, which makes the shot a little trickier just because you don't want to air it out too much and Get close to that OB line on the left, but the left side is the more open gap. Yeah, that's true. And this is great from Kristen. Really all she needs. This looks good for Missy. Drifting a little bit more left, but just fine. with a beautiful straight shot. Yeah, four just flawless drives. Yeah, she might be a little more pinched off from the straight up shot, but she's Got still way up there. Got though, yeah. Yeah. Missy up first, throwing the turnover. Get through those. Oh yeah. Dang, that's the mistake to make though. The o There is an OB line right, but it's past those trees. It's pretty difficult to find. The OB line left is way too easy to find. <laughs> Juliana trying to keep it low underneath the branches, and she does it. What a great shot. Gorgeous. Side with the big Anheuser. Trying to get around the branches. Kind of trickles through it, but still a great, great shot. Yeah. Kristen with a really simple forehand shot. Yeah, no nonsense. She doesn't need anything crazy. Yeah, Kristen doesn't really try to show off or anything like that. Right. She sticks to her game plan. Oh man, Missy. A little not under committed. That. I think there was some footing stuff. It almost it did look like a little she's slippery. slippery. Oh hey, she's green. Whoa. Yeah, there's room over there, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Kristen has this in the bag. 
not quite as electric of a day for her, but she really didn't need it. She had such a good lead after the first couple rounds. Yeah. She did everything she needed to do. And her first time playing at the Portland Open, she's your 2023 champion. Juliana is tied for third right now with Own Scoggins, so she's trying to get this close and make a putt to get solo third. <gasps> oh, is that she stays in. in. <laughs> <laughs> Non-committal green flag. <laughs> yeah. Whew, yeah, that OB comes up fast on the backside. Sai, what an excellent performance. Yeah, she's proving that she belongs out here on tour and can compete with the best. I'm sure we'll see her on many more lead cards. Missy tied for fifth. That just lays that one up. <laughs> Why not make a sick birdie <laughs> put to finish? Didn't even need Didn't it to even hold need on to second place. Yeah, what a great showing from Sai. Congrats on second place. This is for solo third. <sighs> Sit. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, she really wanted that one. Yeah. Still, st for Juliana to come and just Yeah, oh, I just compete. wanted to cash. Yeah, to compete in this field at the highest level. I hope... She gets some confidence from today, from this weekend. Okay. Yeah, I don't think these people even realize how much of a privilege it is to watch Juliana play. Yeah. Kristen Sitar, your Portland Open champion. Presented by Latitude 64 champion, Kristen Tatar. I'm so relieved it's over. One of the toughest rounds of my life. Just fighting not to cry right now because it was so tough. I just kept uh, reminding myself uh, to fight and I'm not, not a quitter. And I mean, things weren't going my way, uh, so now that it's done and I came out as a winner, it's just amazing. So I knew that there are some hot scores uh, out there, but I had some cushions, so I had some strokes to play with, and I just was determined. I just kept telling myself that it's not over until it's over. Uh, you're not a quitter, and, and I just kept going. Aitäh kõigile, kes te mulle kaaselasite, et ma tõesti tunnen seda teie toetust ja palju õnne Maurile suurepärast saavutuse üle ja, ja kõigile teistele eestlastele ka, kes teist on Openil hästi mängisite ja loodan teid kõik juba peagi näha. Your champion in Portland, Kristen Tatar. Congratulations, Kristen. Really cool to hear her insight into her mental perspective. I think it's easy to think Kristen Tatar is flawless and, you know, <laughs> mentally just iron-willed, but, you know, she mm -hmm. is human and struggles like the rest of us, and to come out on top when it's not feeling like your day is impressive. Yeah, very powerful mentality, telling yourself, I'm not a quitter in the moment when things just aren't going your way. I mean, how many people can say that yeah. their bad round is Four down. looks anything like a Kristen Tatar bad yeah. round? You know, almost no one. Uh, congratulations to Own Scoggins and Juliana Corver for third, and Sayanada for second place. Um, it's been lovely watching the Portland Open with you guys, and thanks again to Rebecca Cox for joining us in the booth. Um, Madison will be commentating at DDO. I will miss that one. Uh, the two hot geese will be back at Des Moines. Uh, I'm sure we'll see more of Rebecca and uh, hopefully more of Coxcomb commentary. Yes, thank you so much for having me. It was a ton of fun. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Um, yeah, I'm Erica Stinchcomb. I'm Rebecca Cox. Coxcomb commentary. Mm -hmm.